Okay, well, we've just left Seligman, heading west, and I think our next stop is Peach Springs. So we're going to stop there and get our stamp. I don't know if there's really a lot to see in Peach Springs, but we'll find out. So I want to let you see just a little bit of the terrain here on Route 66 West. And there's one of the mini trains. Yeah, there's one of the trains. They went by, like I said, about every hour last night when we were asleep. faster than it is, so we're going to pass it. It'll take a while to pass the whole thing. Here's some more Burma Shave signs coming up. That would be these, I don't know how you could see those last night, how well they came in, but it's these red signs here. It says, listen birds. These signs cost money. So roost a while, but don't get funny. I don't get that. <laughs> and Burma Shave. Some really neat, uh, interesting topography around here. You got the, the hillsides and then you got the valleys and the prairies. It's really neat. It is. It's very neat. running the train right now. Springs that will be our next stop and our next stamp for our passport book. By the way, I need to say something about that passport book. Um, you can get a passport book for, uh, to get stamps at different locations for the entire 66 route, but since we're only doing Arizona, we got the Arizona book, and it was only $1.99. Yeah, what? I was much. expecting to pay eight or $9 for it, honestly. So I was very pleased with that. But $8.99, we've already yeah. got two stamps. So our next step will be Peak Springs. That's basically just to show you've been there. And, uh, I'm just enjoying this drive. The road's improved a little bit. Back around Seligman, it was kind of bumpy and rough. Not bumpy, but rough. Uh, but kind of smoothed out a little bit here. It's pretty neat. I'll show y'all the passport book I'm talking about. It's this one here. And on the back, it says uh, Mother Road on it. It was only $1.99 and uh, opened it up. Well, and two, we got just the Arizona one. They have. Well, that's um, what I was, yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. That's the only part of 66 we're doing this now. This is the one that we did for Seligman. Yeah. And then there's a place in the very back for additional stamps, and they got them there. Yeah, you know what my son told me yesterday? He messaged me. Uh, he wanted me to get a passport stamp for the Grand Canyon. I don't have a national park 
passport stamp. He told me to quit being a clown and get the book. So I hope I'm semi not being a clown, at least by getting the Arizona book. So that's what my son told me. He said, stop being a clown or don't be a clown. Well, I don't know what that means, but uh, evidently I'm supposed to have passport books for national parks too. Uh, I know they make them. We just never have gotten About the only national parks we ever visit is the Smokies. And then, of course, Grand Canyon yesterday. But um, been yeah, to the, it's been not to like the Everglades. It's not like we go around to a lot of them. That may be on our bucket list yeah. as we get older to travel and to see and do. But really, we, we don't go to a lot of different national parks. So I guess you, I guess it's probably got state parks and historic sites in there as well. I'd have to look at it. Yeah. But um, we did get our Route 66 souvenir passport book. So if you're going to travel this road, uh, you might want to do that. And again, they have an Arizona version or, or one for the entire road. I bet that one's a little more expensive. Probably so. It's probably got a few more pages to it. Yeah. Honestly, the speed limit on this road is 65. I don't know why. You can safely go 100, 120 on this road. I'm not, I'm not saying that we've done that or anything. I'm not saying one way or the other. But um, I'm just saying you could. Uh, this road is very wide open. It is two lane, but there's not a lot of traffic. And you can see, most in most spots, you can see miles ahead of you. Apparently, there may be elk in this area. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hit an elk on that thing. I wouldn't want to hit an elk at all. Okay. But um, it is getting a little bit hillier and curvy now, but back there, man, you can see 10 miles ahead of you. Yeah. Just straight away. not a place for it. Correct. I, I thought I saw it go flip to the right uh, of Selena. That's I saw Peach Springs. See, that's Williams. That, go that way. Flagstaff, Twin Era, Meteor Crater, Winslow. I think I saw Peach Springs in it. Well, like I said, the only thing I'm seeing right here is just that. But there's no stamp thing. Okay, well, I did say, uh, yeah, it does say Peach Spring. It does say it, but if there's a stamp there, they'll have to do it in the additional pages. Well, maybe there's not. I just remember I saw yeah, it. Yeah. Maybe I assume that. Yeah. So, but there is a Hackberry. Yes. And that's mile 80. Hackberry's mile they 80. They can pull up their, their video then and see what they did in Peach Springs. Okay, here's Peach Springs. Right, we've entered Peach Springs. Maybe we're not going to get a stamp here. I thought we were. Yeah, right here. I remember this song. Yeah. That's a scope. Never mind. No, I don't. We might have seen it as you drove by. Yeah. There's a market. It's like a little visitor center, I thought. What's that? Historical culture center. Yeah. All right, well, mean? yeah, we didn't get a stamp, but I've been to Peach Springs. Not exactly a bustling community, but it's still very scenic here. So how far was Hackberry? That was, see, this should have been mile 103, which we're okay. It is. And then Hackberry General Store is at mile 80. 23 miles. Next stop, Hackberry General Store. It's a pretty high mountain. Right there. It is. Yeah, it's got snow on it, too.
at that. Those two look almost alike. It's like this oh, wow. Yeah, I see that. They ought to call those twin views or something. Twin lenses. They do. They look almost identical. I didn't say on the Seligman video I'd like to say now is that's one of the friendliest towns I've ever been in. Yes. We didn't run true. we didn't run into anybody who was even of average friendliness. Just it seemed like everybody was just glad to see you. Yeah, it's like you walk into a store, it's like they're at the other end they're hollering, Good morning, you know, yeah. thanks for coming in, you know. And uh, I mean I know they depend on tourists to come through there to keep the town alive, but honestly it was just like some stores you go in you feel like they'd rather you not even be in there. But it was, everywhere we went today was just uh, and last night, every, everything yeah. we went to in Seligman, everybody was friendly. It was. Except for the people who checked in about three rooms down from us last night. <laughs> They're probably out of town or something. Folks, I mean, well, yeah, they, well, I think they were, but or they wouldn't have been in the motel. Folks, can I just say some common courtesy? When you get to your motel room at 1130 at night, um, don't stand outside of the doors laughing and talking and hollering. Uh, I don't know why I would need to be told that, but we did have a little bit of that last night. Uh, honestly, everybody in the town of Salik was just, was just awesome. Uh, from our uh, people at the restaurant last night to the stores, you know, one store we went in, they were closed already. Um, or they closed while we were in there, they said just take our time and not, uh, not worry about it. And then today, the guy giving us the interview. Yeah, he was really friendly. And informative and knowledgeable. Yeah, he was. I'm glad you asked him about being related because I wouldn't have thought to ask that. He hadn't volunteered it. Well, that truthfully, I thought he'd have been blood related because there was a picture of him when he was younger and they kind of favored in a way. Who, Angel, you mean? Yeah. yeah. That's why I was like, I wonder if this is like a grandson or something. Yeah, he was a son in law, married yeah. into the family. Well, we, you can't miss the general store. It's right on the road. Okay. Another stop and another place to get a stamp. Gas pumps here. Mobile gas, Route 66. Come back here, please. I'm going to see these neat old cars. 
over here. Soto. Very tow truck. This is where you can leave your sticker if you have a YouTube channel, which is another reason we need to get stickers made. friends from Yankee in the south because we found their sticker completely by accident in Seligman so I know they went here so I'm guessing they probably went from here too I don't see it yet I don't see it yeah I, I'm guessing they probably would leave one here I would think but I don't know what's that but yeah we found theirs completely by accident today so that was pretty cool The stove keeps it warm in here, doesn't it? It does. Awesome. Is that a mouse pad? Yep. This is a neat thing. We're out here in Arizona. Blount County, Tennessee. That's Pete's Cove. Place that we love to go back when we're back home. Or no, it's tight. A lot right, right, more metal signs here in the Hackberry store. Um, if you stop here and you got children, uh, I would be hesitant to let them go in the men's bathroom. It's kind of decorated with uh, women who ought to be ashamed of themselves all over the wall. So I'll just put that nicely. So just be aware of that. Point, home of the Giganticus Hedicus. Here's 
Shaughnessy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Here's Shaughnessy. There you go. Well, the resemblance <laughs> is striking. Go ahead and record somewhere else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Somebody's in a bad mood. And it's very, very scenic right here. Walk over here to the fence and try to show you just a little bit of it. I don't know what the name of that road is, but they ought to call that Mailbox Road right there. Apparently that's the mailbox for everybody that lives down that road. I don't believe I've ever seen that many mailboxes in one spot. Just now noticed a little Herbie there. That's off of uh, the movies that were popular when I was growing up as a kid. Herbie goes to Monte Carlo, the love bug. Herbie rides again and Herbie goes bananas. Those are the four I remember seeing as a kid. And Herbie was a cool little race car. He had a mind of his own. Looking back the direction we just came from. Okay, we are now coming into the town of Kingman, Arizona, getting closer to the California uh, state line. But uh, we're going to make a couple of stops here on Route 66 in Kingman. It's actually widened out, looks just like another uh, city road now, but uh, we're going to stop at the Powerhouse Museum. We've been told this is one of the best museums on Route 66, so we're going to stop and check it out, and then we're going to eat lunch at the diner just across the street from the museum. So. Uh, stay tuned for that, and then after that, we're going to be going on to Oatman, Arizona, uh, which is known for donkeys wandering the streets. So we're going to see if we can see some donkeys in Oatman, but first, we're going to stop in Kingman. All right, and here is Historic Route 66. Welcome to Kingman, the heart of Historic Route 66. Here we go to the Powerhouse Museum. And you can drive through this little sign, so that's what she's going to do. Huh? 
I'll go through the museum in, in a minute. Let's look around the gift shop. Alright, so we're going to go through the museum now. I guess it's upstairs. Okay. Is there anything back there? Okay, just entered into the museum. I didn't realize there is a $4 charge per adult. So, that's still not bad. I'm sure it's worth that. I don't need exhibits in here. Pigs. Yeah, that's one flag staff of San Francisco Pigs. Right here. That's right, DVH Manor State 40. That's the big one. That's the way we followed it all day today, and we're now in Kingman. Where's Kingman? Right here. Kingman. Yeah, there was Valentine, Hackberry, Kingman. getting low so I'm going to just try to hit the highlights in here because it will shut off without warning. National Old Trails Highway 1913 to 1926. Needles to Kingman. Kingman to Seligman. So leading them to the ends. Huh. And this is interesting. This goes right along with the display I just showed. Look at that. Look at that though, people packed up everything they have in these trucks. side room here. It looks like a series of paintings. Depicting life in the early days of Route 66.
Cruisers Cafe. That was in uh, Williams. We saw that last night. Here's where we stayed last night. Route 66 Motel. That's where we ate supper last night. Stop there just a little bit ago. Gotta get the Burma shave size here. I think the battery's about to go. I'm gonna have to switch cameras if it does. Try to get these really quickly for you. We've seen how many sets of those? Ten probably? Probably so, yeah. Inside a little replica of a diner here. Uh, let's see this here. Let's see if I can't lighten that just a little bit. There we go. Let's try looking at that diner one more time with it lit up a little bit better. What do you think? I like that. Pretty, yeah, neat pretty neat. It was worth four dollars. So if you are in Kingman, you definitely want to check out the museum. Electric Vehicle Museum and a drawing of the interstate coming into town. And here is the Electric Car Museum. Uh, oh, look at that thing there. I know, that's what I've been since you walked in. I was like, I want to drive that. <laughs> Yeah, that would be so. I don't even know what what is that? I'm gonna have to see if it's got a little. Are those electric? <laughs> no, those aren't. So there, there wasn't even such thing as electric. But I mean, where do you even pedal it? I don't know. Look, like she's just riding it. Well. Yeah. I'd like to know what that is. Hold on here, it tells us. The Buckeye Bullet 2.5 is a student built, student created alternative fuel race car from the Ohio State University. What does that have to do with Route 66? On September 25th, 2009. Uh, huh. About 320 miles per hour. Wow. My goodness. Like I said, I'm going to drive that. Well, how fast was you going last night? I'm so <laughs> close to that. Pretty slick. It's got one tire in the front.
think we're doing it backwards because I'm reading these red signs and Oh well, yeah it is but It says Tropica It's a weird looking thing too. <laughs> I'd be scared to sit in there. Huh. Okay, and that pretty much concludes the tour of the Route 66 Powerhouse Museum. Okay folks, on to Oatman, Arizona. Now, um, I have not been here before, obviously, uh, but I've looked at this road down to Oatman from Kingman on Google Earth, and it looks like it's going to be very curvy, very mountainous, and very, what's the word, barren. So, looking forward to this. Uh, this road takes us up over what is called Sick Greaves Pass, and this is supposed to be one of the most scenic parts of Route 66. So looking forward to that, and then we're going to get out in Oatman and look around there, hopefully see some donkeys wandering the streets, and then we're going to go on into California and make our way west. So it's already getting very rocky right here. It's like we turned down. It's like the scenery changed immediately. Immediately, yeah, I did. So, looking forward to this road right here. I've seen this. I've seen it on video from other people. I've seen it on uh, Google Earth. And it looks really neat. What did it say? 28 miles? I think so. Okay. So we won't uh, dash camp the whole part of it, but uh, when it starts to get really interesting, as it actually it is now, um, we will definitely uh, get some good video footage, hopefully. Yep, get all the good highlights of it. Yep.